Hey guys and welcome to another video. I've been super busy with my summer job so that's why Daniel the bot is covering for me haha. <laughs> Anyways, as promised we're gonna be talking about idols to twos today but because I figured the video would be way too long if I tried to squeeze everyone in, we're starting off with monster eggs, so I'll be reviewing their to twos. Enjoy. But before we begin here's just a quick disclaimer, the purpose of this video is merely for entertainment and I'm not trying to mock or make fun of anyone. It's their body, they can do whatever they want and at the end of the day I still think the ink looks amazing on them. Also, the people who have the audacity to call themselves fans and then mock the idols for getting the tats or say that they shouldn't get it because it would be quote unquote ugly and such, please shut the fuck up and mind your own business. Like I said, it's their bodies so they should have the freedom to do whatever. As far as I know as of right now, Shonu, Kiyun, Juhian and Hyungwon don't have any tattoos or at least not that I know of, so we're starting with Chang Yun aka IM just because. He has three tattoos all together, two on his back and one on his wrist. The latter is a double smiley face, but the meaning behind it is unknown. The placement is great and I personally think it's super cute. I'm also a huge fan of simple and small tattoos so I'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10. Moving on. He also has a quote on his back that says one who wants to wear the crown. Bears the crown. Now I'm not sure if there's a mistake because the tattoo actually says bear instead of bears or if that's just me tripping but yeah. At the end of the day, I think the quote is still nice and all. It's just that I'm not too fond of the placement because it's kind of in the way for his other back tattoo and on top of that even the smallest grammatical mistakes give me anxiety. I know. That's my fault. So I guess I would give it a 6 out of 10. Which is pretty generous ha 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 ha. The other tat he has is a bit similar to Min Hayax, Which I will talk about later. And I think it's beautifully detailed and suits him very much. It also looks amazing when he's wearing a shirt that's a little bit loose and shows the tattoo wink wink. The only thing that kinda irks me, like I mentioned before, is that the other tat is kinda in the way but then again we have to know that he got the quote first and only then the roses. I guess that's just my personal preference and as long as he's confident, he absolutely rocks it, 8 out of 10. Then we have Min Hayak, who has two tattoos. First I wanna focus on the whale on his knee. He got it as a cover up for his scar and I think that's amazing. It's well done with beautiful details and pretty roses inside and I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's my favorite Monster X tattoo. 10 out of 10 without any doubts. Also, I'm really proud of him for ignoring the assholes who said he shouldn't get it. That's how it always should be. Next, he has another one on his upper back, a rose with gorgeous ornaments. Now one thing I gotta say is that this man right here seriously has an eye for good tattoo artists. So if you ever go to Korea and wanna get a tat or two, you know who to hit up first. But yeah, all jokes aside, I just cannot not give it a 10 out of 10 again so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This guy really knows what's aesthetical and is equipped with astonishing pieces of art himself. At this point I have to mention that I wasn't sure whether I should also include one ho or not, but hey, for me he'll always be an important part of the group and they're still really close so why not. Apparently he has three tattoos, one on his thigh, one on his foot and another one on his butt, or so people say, but unfortunately we won't be talking about the last one as there obviously aren't any pics of it. He said it was a flower, but we'll never know for sure ha 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 ha. Firstly, he has a tattoo on his left thigh that says life is C between B and D, meaning that life is a choice between birth and death. It comes from a quote by French philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre. I think it's very deep and meaningful and it looks great especially when he's wearing ripped jeans and you can see it through very well. The font is okay and so is the placement, but just because I don't see myself getting it, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Finally, the tattoo on his right foot. It's another quote which says real recognize real with the second real being crossed out and substituted with the word fake. I know that what I'm about to say is very petty of me, but still, from what I've seen, I'm not really a huge fan of how a part of this tat was executed, and with that I mean the use of red ink to cross the last word and it also looks kinda sloppy to me. I think it would've been better if they just used black ink and perhaps just do a horizontal line to cross it out. I don't really like the placement either, 
as tattoos in places like this tend to fade a lot faster. So all in all, I guess I'd give it a 5 out of 10. On a side note, I heard that he actually got it removed, but I'm really not sure if that's true or not. Though he did say that he wanted to get rid of some of the tats, but I don't know if that was because he got tired of them, because of fans or for some other reason. But I swear to god if it was because of fake fans disliking them, I will throw hands for sure. Anyhow, I guess that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked this vid and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for everything and see you next time. P.S. Listen to what Jay has to say. Also, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely crucial, monumental to the growth of this podcast. Please, reviews, please. Am I begging too much? She says it's okay, I swear. Please, reviews. Oh.